Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. How did I handle my PCOS? I had PCOS since I was 18 years old. I Well, at least I got diagnosed when I was 18 because... I went to the doctor and I was like, I was I wasn't getting my period, you know, I wasn't getting my period parang three months na. Tapos when I would get my period sa glit lang, ta sobrang irregular ko. And I just wanted to get checked. So I got checked and they found follicles. And so yung picos ko was pretty bad that time. And I gained a lot of weight. Tapos the doctor prescribed me some pills. They gave me Dayan 35. Now I had been drinking that. I was drinking that for maybe a couple of years. I drank it for four years, but thankfully, hindi ako lumobo talaga. Um, I would. I just gained a little bit of weight. Tapos, it would be hard to to remove the weight, and yon nakakaroon ako ng breakouts every so often. Pero my skin was pretty much still clear. Yun lang, may slight side effects lang siya sa akin. And I got checked again after a couple of years. Ganun pa rin, I still had follicles. So, I was just tired of it and I was tired of drinking the little pill every single day. And I decided to do my own research. And again, this is no medical advice. But since you guys are asking me about my experience, this is it. I decided to change my lifestyle. Now they say from what I've read that because is pretty much a lifestyle tied experience and difficulty. So what I did was talagang in-overhaul ko yung lifestyle ko. Yun yung time na nag-triathlon ako. So every day, I was working out and it was intense workouts. I would swim for maybe 1.2 kilometers. I was swimming for like three hours. Tapos sa uh, hapon, mag, mag-run pa ako ng five kilometers to 10 kilometers. I was doing extreme workouts and regularly. So, ginawa ko yung extreme workouts and regular workouts. I would go to the gym. I would also train for triathlon. And then, I started changing my eating habits. So, instead of so hili ko kasi sa fast food non. Kinat ko yung fast food ko as in cold turkey, no fast food, no processed foods, kahit yung mga canned goods, kahit yung mga frozen meats, ganyan, yung mga tosino, bacon, ganyan, lahat tinanggal ko sa, sa diet ko. And I would only eat um, a lot of vegetables and fish that time. And I stopped drinking coffee. I started switching to green tea and turmeric tea, yun, mas nagtsaa ako. And pag kailangan ko na energy, green tea talaga yung iniinom ko. Tapos yung food ko more on steamed, more on healthy talaga. And it just changed when I got, so I I had stopped drinking the pills already because I felt like I was better. So, hindi na ako nagpe-pills noon nung nag-change ako ng lifestyle ko. And hindi, hindi na rin ako umiinom noon tsaka nag Parang, Siguro every so often na lang iinom ako. Tapos pag nakainom ako ng madami talaga, that's when I would smoke a cigarette. But I used to be a chain smoker and I stopped being a chain smoker. And that changed everything. Are you ready to show the world that you're part of the Adulting with Joy Spring family? Head on to joyspring.com and get your hands on our merchandise from hoodies, pullovers, journals, notebooks, and so much more. We're also now available on Shopee and Lazada. So add to your carts right now and enjoy exclusive deals and discounts. Follow me at Joy Spring and at Adulting with Joy Spring for weekly updates on our podcast and the adulting merch. Tapos, nung nagpacheck ako, actually before Wancho and I even got before Wancho and I, sorry, nadidistract ako sa mga questions niyo. Um, before Wancho and I even got engaged, one of the things that I told him was, hey, I just want you to know that I have picos. I have picos. Yun yung sabi ko sa kanya. I have picos. And that I there might be a difficulty in getting pregnant and having a baby and all of these things. And he was fine with it, whatever. So, nung nagpakasal na kami, 2020, um, and I wanted to make sure that I 
you know, just to see like, there eh, are any eggs that are ready to be fertilized. Kanyan. I went to the doctor, I got a pap smear, I got checked. And the doctor was like, yeah, you don't have picos and everything's in check and you're healthy and you have a couple of eggs that are parang healthy or something like that, whatever. And then yun. So parang nagulat na lang ako na, ah, okay. So nahil na pala siya. And I really honestly think it's because of that. It's an absolute change of lifestyle. And up until now, I'm very active and I still choose to live a healthy lifestyle. And it's really all because of that. It changed my life. Um, so yeah, kung meron kayong mga ganong sickness and na, na babother kayo na even my mom, okay, again, the, this is not medical advice. <laughs> These are just our experiences. Even my mom, high blood siya, tapos, uh, sorry, high yung cholesterol niya, to the point na malapit na siyang bigyan ng, I think, medicines, parang maintenance medicines ng doctor niya. And she was refusing, like, ayaw mag maintenance medicines kasi ang mahal, nurse din siya. So parang alam niya yung mga side effects, ganyan. So she decided to just change her lifestyle. She started working out and then she started changing her food habits. So nag-start siya mag-vegan food. Tapos lahat cook from home, cook from scratch. Tapos umokay yung cholesterol niya. Tapos di niya niya kailangan mag medicine but that really takes a lot of discipline and that takes a lot of time on your end to be dedicated to have a healthier lifestyle so my advice for you guys is in general to choose to find ways first to change your lifestyle if you have problems with your sleep with your reproductive system sorry another thing pala i changed the products that i was using I would opt for products that were more organic, that were less in chemicals. So, pati yung mga ganong bagay, um, ginagawa ko siya. So, kahit yung pag-inom ko, um, nagboboil ako ng luya sa tubig, ganyan, nagboboil. Saan mo pa nga ba iboboil yun, di ba? Pero, yun, nagboboil ako ng luya, ng ginger, lalagyan ako ng calamansi, lalagyan ako ng manuk honey. I would do all of these things. So, in general, my my advice for you guys is, if you have health problems with your reproductive health, with your sleep, with anything, try lifestyle change first. As in drastic, healthy lifestyle. And you'd be surprised. Because I didn't want to depend on medicine. And I've read about so many people who didn't want to depend on their medicine. And by all means, diba, kung talagang hindi gumana yung healthy lifestyle mo na talagang sobrang disciplined ka, then sure, of course, modern medicine is there for that particular reason. But for me, it helped. So, there. That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media with you know it at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam.